Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and if you remember previously on the Engineer Boy, we have learned some basic points related to the purpose and the size of the plinth beam. Now in this video, we'll be learning about the step-by-step -step construction process of the plinth beam. In the process, the first thing is to pair the footings or maybe the foundation where you need to erect columns up to, you can say, some height and make sure you leave some double bars for future extensions. Once footing is done, then we do fill the spaces or you can say wides between footings so that we can have a level surface for farm work of the plant beam. In filling process, make sure you fill layer by layer and apply some compactions to the filling material. Once you get a level surface, then you can place some, you can say, farm work for the plant beam. But make sure that the farm work material have no twists or you can say bends. Also make sure to oil the farm work faces in such a way that the oil does not come in contact with the reinforcement steel bars. As you can see in the same project, we have used concrete blocks for the farm work purpose. And we did this as this material is available and it was too easy to do the job in less time. Once farm work is done, then we do place reinforcement steel bars. We are make sure that the bars provided on the bottom of the beam should not have a diameter less than 12 mm and the bars provided on the top of the beam should not have a diameter less than 10 mm. Remember the cover and beam stirrups should be at least 25 mm and the diameter of the bars used for stirrups should be at least 6 mm. And then make sure to have 135 degree stirrups as these guys are you can say very good during earthquake. And remember the center to center spacing of the stirrups should not be more than 15 centimeters which is actually uh, one of every mm you can say. Further make sure to place angle bars at each corner so that the beam do not have cracks at corners. Alright once reinforcement bars are placed then it's time to concrete the beam with cement concrete for which M20 which is 1 ratio 1 and a half ratio 3 or M15 which is 1 to 4 grade concrete are considered suitable. Also make sure to place or to throw the concrete from less than 1 meter height so that we do not have segregation problems and do compact the concrete with vibrator or maybe steel rod. Once concreting the beam is completed then start curing it after once the concrete surface can bear the curing process. And this depends on the weather or on the temperature of the construction site. It's recommended to do curing for 7 days minimum and can be done more days. The farm work must be removed after 24 hours from the sides and after 14 days from the bottom. As you can see in the same project, we are removing the concrete blocks after only 2 hours and that is because if not removed then the concrete may make bond with these and we may lose these expensive blocks. This is all I have and if you like the video please hit that subscribe and turn on the notification so you never miss an update from the engineer boy.